causes to bring charges against Daniel. He, listen, they went back to the king and they said, listen, did not you make this declaration the last time? Well, this time Daniel is doing the same thing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. He's not adhering to what you made declaration in the land. The Bible declares 1,333 people that they said Daniel is still worshiping. The king said for 30 days, if you don't hear this, no if you hear this noise and you don't bow down and worship the golden image, which is me, then you're going to be thrown into the lion's den. The job of the lion was to rip you to shreds and to make your bones shatter into pieces. So he said, I'm not going to deal with you one way, but I'm going to deal with you another way. My decree still stands. And so people are always trying to get around God's system. People are always trying to get around. Uh-huh. It's in the scripture. It says, watch this. Except you, your majesty, you shall be thrown into the lion's den. He's saying, now, Daniel, you see what happened to your cousins. That should have been enough for you to say, okay, I hear the noise now. Oh, what? What I hear? All right, let's go. Daniel said, this ain't got nothing to do with the king. This has everything to do with my faith. This has nothing to do with my circumstances. This has everything. Someone said, it's in the book. This has everything to do with my faith. People challenges your faith. They challenge your faith all the time and y'all keep falling for it. He makes ways out of no ways. And the minute something happens, your faith gets challenged, but you forgot what he did last year. He could definitely do it this year. The Bible declares that what he said, he said, so the king put up this written decree again. He said, if you don't hear three times, Daniel says, I'm going to pray. I don't care.